Scorpigno, Scorpigno. Hey, buddy. I'm glad you're here. Uh, yeah, I've been talking to the other Grumpuses, and, uh, I think they could use your help. Not just with chores and stuff, but, you know, uh, personal issues. Uh, it can be hard dealing with your problems alone, you know? It won't get you closer to Lisburg, but it'd mean a lot if you could help the others. Nice day, isn't it? Hi. Oh, they're all so cute! Thank you so much! Hopefully my little ones will settle down. Maybe I can even start training them again. going
team. Oh, hi! <laughs> All right. And I don't have a single new tune in my head. What a woeful journey I've taken. <sighs> Darling, I apologize for putting you through such an ordeal. It was all for the sake of art. And art is priceless. I can see that this simply isn't working, and I believe I know why. Oh, not nearly enough, folks. Though it pains me to return without a new single, I shall face the music and greet my adoring fans. Aloha, darling. dear, are you free for a little stargazing tonight? Uh, sorry, I can't. I gotta watch my little ones. <sighs> of course you do. Come on, Gramble, surely you can take a night off. Nobody's desperate enough to steal from you. Anymore? Maybe. But even still, my kin might wander off if I'm not here. It's only natural, dear. I'm sure they long to return to the wild. Uh, don't say that. This is their home. They, they love it here. They just get lost sometimes is all. Ugh, whatever you say, darling. Let me know if you're ever free.
what's shaking, baby? I am no stranger to interviews, darling. Hit me with your best shot. You've certainly heard my number one single, Do the Wiggle. You see, Wiggle Wiggle Bottom needs no introduction, darling. Well, I'm here to gorge myself on a new life experience, to get my creative juices flowing, as it were. It can stay on top forever. And I'm afraid the audience didn't care for Wiggles World or Wiggle Baby one more time. And I've been accused of being a one hit wiggle. Every taste is like a star going supernova inside my mouth. Creative energy like I've never felt before. Bug snacks are worth whatever price I have to pay, darling. Bug snacks are forbidden fruits, darling. I believe something exists to keep us from them. She will come for me one day, but not before I dazzle the world once more. That's simple. I was following Gramble. He certainly knows his way around snacks. No! Goodness, no! I love Gramble. I would never. He's far too sweet, like a little strabby. No, I would never take advantage of him, no matter how easy it would be. Ah, oh, Lisbert! She and Egabel were big fans of mine. You know, I met them backstage at my first farewell tour. They didn't have passes, mind you. Liz climbed in through the air ducts. But if somebody breaks the law out of love for my music, who am I to turn them away? Not nearly as often as I'd like. That night, when Liz went missing, I ran into the woods looking for her. But instead, I found something terrifying, towering over the trees. The queen of bug snacks. Her screech was deafening, and I ran for my life. Well, I can't be sure. All I saw was a menacing silhouette. But if Liz crossed paths with that, that thing, then I fear for her. Ah, I feel the warm glow of free publicity. <laughs> I know my story about the Queen sounds far-fetched. But I swear on my platinum record, it's true. If you don't believe me, go and see for yourself. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got music to make. <laughs>